This is the BBC Home Service. Good morning, everybody. Here's the first news for today, Friday the 13th of April, read by Frederick Allen. President Roosevelt, we sincerely regret to announce, died suddenly last night. The tragic news reached this country just before midnight. Mr. Roosevelt died at his cottage at Warm Springs, Georgia, at 10.30 from cerebral hemorrhage. Only a little over two hours earlier, he'd been sitting in his armchair while an artist sketched him. He suddenly complained of a very severe headache and in a few minutes lost consciousness. He did not regain consciousness before he died. Mr. Roosevelt was 63 in January. He'd been for ten days at his Warm Springs cottage, which he'd visited, which he'd visited regularly for more than 20 years, to take after treatment for the infantile paralysis that attacked him in 1921. Mrs. Roosevelt received the news in Washington and was flown to Warm Springs. As soon as the news was received in London, the King was informed. His Majesty was deeply shocked and expressed his most profound and sincere regret. The news was also given immediately to Mr. Churchill, to whom it came as a complete surprise and great personal shock. When an American president dies in office, he's succeeded by the vice president. And Mr. Harry Truman was therefore sworn in a few hours ago as 33rd president of the United States. 